surely those who disbelieve after they have believed and then increase in their disbelief their repentance shall not be accepted and these are they who have gone astray as for those who have disbelieved and die while they are disbelievers there shall not be accepted from any one of them even an earth full of gold though he offer it in ransom it is these for whom shall be a grievous punishment and they shall have no helpers never shall you attain to righteousness unless you spend out of that which you love and whatever you spend Allah surely knows it well all food was lawful to the children of Israel except what Israel forbade himself before the Torah was sent down say bring then the Torah and read it if you are truthful now whoso forges a lie against Allah after this then it is these that are the wrongdoers say Allah has spoken the truth follow therefore the religion of Abraham who was ever inclined to God and he was not of those who associate gods with God surely the first house founded for mankind is that at Becca abounding in blessings and a guidance for all peoples in it are manifest signs it is the place of Abraham and whoso enters it enters peace and pilgrimage to the house is a duty which men those who can find a way thither owe to Allah and whoever disbelieves let him remember that Allah is surely independent of all creatures say O people of the book why deny ye the signs of Allah why Allah is watchful of what you do say O people of the book why hinder ye the believers from the path of Allah seeking to make it crooked while you are witnesses thereof and Allah is not unmindful of what you do O ye who believe if you obey any party of those who have been given the book they will turn you again into disbelievers after you have believed how would you disbelieve while to you are rehearsed the signs of Allah and his messenger is present among you and he who holds fast to Allah is indeed guided to the right path O ye who believe fear Allah as he should be feared and let not death overtake you except when you are in a state of submission and hold fast all together by the rope of Allah and be not divided and remember the favor of Allah which he bestowed upon you when you were enemies and he united your hearts in love so that by his grace you became as brothers and you were on the brink of a pit of fire and he saved you from it Thus does Allah explain to you his commandments, that you may be guided. And let there be among you a body of men who should invite to goodness and enjoin equity and forbid evil, and it is they who shall prosper. And be not like those who become divided and who disagreed among themselves after clear proofs had come to them, and it is they for whom there shall be a great punishment on the day when some faces shall be white and some faces shall be black as for those whose faces will be black it will be said to them did you disbelieve after believing taste then the punishment because you disbelieved and as for those whose faces will be white they will be in the mercy of Allah therein will they abide these are the signs of Allah we rehearse them to thee while they comprise the truth and Allah wills not any wrong to his creatures and to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and to Allah shall all affairs be returned for decision you are the best people raised for the good of mankind you enjoin what is good and forbid evil and believe in Allah and if the people of the book had believed it would have surely been better for them 
Some of them are believers, but most of them are disobedient. They cannot harm you, save a slight hurt. And if they fight you, they shall show you their backs. Then they shall not be helped. Smitten shall they be with abasement, wherever they are found, unless they have protection from Allah or protection from men. They have incurred the wrath of Allah, and smitten are they with wretchedness. That is because they would reject the signs of Allah and kill the prophets unjustly. That is because they rebelled and used to Jushangas. They are not all alike. Among the people of the book, there is a party who stand by their covenant. They recite the word of Allah in the hours of night and prostrate themselves before him. They believe in Allah and the last day and enjoin what is good and forbid evil and hasten varying with one another in good works. And these are among the righteous. And whatever good they do, they should not be denied its due reward. And Allah well knows the God-fearing. As for those who disbelieve, their possessions and their children shall not avail them aught against Allah. And these are the inmates of the fire, therein shall they abide. The likeness of what they spend for the present life is as the likeness of a wind, wherein there is an intense cold which smites the harvest of a people who have wronged themselves and destroys it. And Allah has not wronged them, but they wrong themselves. O ye who believe, take not others than your own people as intimate friends. They will not fail to corrupt you. They love to see you in trouble. Hatred has already shown itself through the utterance of their mouths, and what their breasts conceal is greater still. We have made clear to you our commandments, if you will understand. Behold, you are those who love them, but they love you not. And you believe in all the book. When they may meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips at you for rage. Say, perish in your rage. Surely Allah knows well what is hidden in your breasts. If anything good befell you, it grieves them. And if evil befell you, they rejoice thereat. But if you be steadfast and righteous, their designs will not harm you at all. Surely Allah encompasses all that they do. And remember the time when thou didst go forth early in the morning from thy household, assigning to the believers their position for battle. And Allah is all hearing, all knowing. When two of your groups meditated cowardice, although Allah was their friend, and upon Allah should the believers rely. And Allah had already helped you at Badar when you were weak. So take Allah for your protector, that you may be grateful. When thou didst say to the believers, Will it not suffice you that your Lord should help you with the three thousand angels sent down from on high? Yea, if you be steadfast and righteous, and they come upon you immediately in hot haste, your Lord will help you with five thousand angels attacking vehemently. And Allah has made it only as a glad tiding for you, and that your hearts might be at rest thereby. And help comes from Allah alone, the mighty, the wise. God will do so that he might cut off a part of the disbelievers or abase them so that they might go back frustrated. Thou hast no concern in the matter. He may turn to them in mercy or punish them, for they are the wrongdoers. And to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. He forgives whomsoever he pleases and punishes whomsoever he pleases. And Allah is most forgiving, merciful. O ye who believe, devour not interest involving diverse additions, and fear Allah that you may prosper. And fear the fire prepared for the disbelievers. And obey Allah and the messengers, 
that you be shown mercy. And vie with one another in asking for forgiveness from your Lord, and for a paradise whose price is the heavens and the earth prepared for the God-fearing. Those who spend in prosperity and adversity, and those who suppress anger and pardon men, and Allah loves those who do good. And those who, when they commit a foul deed or wrong themselves, remember Allah and implore forgiveness for their sins, and who can forgive sins except Allah, and do not persist knowingly in what they have done. It is these whose reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they shall abide. And how good is the reward of those who work. Surely there have been many dispensations before you, so travel through the earth and see how evil was at the end of those who treated the prophets as liars. This, the Quran, is a clear demonstration to men and a guidance an admission to the God-fearing. Slacken not, nor grieve, and you shall certainly have the upper hand if you are the believers. If you have received an injury, surely the disbelieving people have already received a similar injury. And such days we cause to alternate among men, that they may be admonished, and that Allah may distinguish those who believe and may take witness from among you, and Allah loves not the unjust. And that Allah may purify those who believe and destroy the disbelievers. Do you suppose that you will enter heaven while Allah has not yet distinguished those of you that strive in the way of Allah and has not yet distinguished the steadfast? And you used to wish for this death before you met it, now you have seen it while you were actually looking for it. And Muhammad is only a messenger. Verily all messengers have passed away before him. If then he die or be slain, will you turn back on your heels? And he who turns back on his heels shall not harm Allah at all. And Allah will certainly reward the grateful. And no soul can die except by Allah's leave, a decree with a fixed term. And whoever desires the reward of the present world, we will give him thereof. And whoever desires the reward of the life to come, we will give him thereof. And we will surely reward the grateful. And many a prophet there has been besides whom fought numerous companies of their followers. They slackened not for aught that befell them in the way of Allah, nor did they weaken, nor did they humiliate themselves before the enemy, and Allah loves the steadfast. And they uttered not a word except that they said, Our Lord, forgive us our errors and our excesses in our conduct, and make firm our steps, and help us against the disbelieving people. So Allah gave them the reward of this world, as also an excellent reward of the next. And Allah loves those who do good. O ye who believe, if you obey those who have but disbelieved, they will cause you to turn back on your heels, and you will become losers. Nay, Allah is your protector, and he is the best of helpers. We shall strike terror into the hearts of those who have disbelieved, because they associate partners with Allah, for which he has sent down no authority. Their abode is the fire, and evil is the habitation of the wrongdoers. And Allah had surely made good to you his promise, when you were slaying and destroying them by his leave, until when you became lax and disagreed among yourself concerning the others, and you disobeyed after he had shown you that which you loved. He withdrew his help. Among you were those who desired the present world, and among you were those who desired the next. Then he turned you away from them, that he might try you, and he has surely pardoned you, and Allah is gracious to the believers.